All right, we are having taco night, or more specifically, chicken fajita taco night. I've got taco shells there. We're using this Trader Joe's kit, and Stella just bonked her head upstairs, so she's been whiny. I couldn't film this, but I've got this, and yeah, and Liv's cleaning off the table so I can put everything out. So I ended up just heating this one up. It was frozen, so I had to heat it longer than the directions because it's for refrigerator directions, you see. Keep refrigerated. And then I made more peppers and onions because I knew that was going to be the main hit with Olivia. And then we've got some chickpeas, some black beans. The girls couldn't have some apple slices from earlier. We need to use up. We don't want them to get too brown. They were just from earlier snack time. And then as far as toppings, we've got crispy jalapenos, French fried onions, sliced jalapenos, jalapeno sauce. You can tell somebody likes jalapeno, that's me. And then some sour cream and some, the last of our little Colby Jack cheese there. Olivia and I are the only two I think that are gonna go for that. And then we've got the crunchy taco shells. And I set Stella's out so it can be cooling. I also have some green beans in here for her in case she doesn't want to go to town on the veggies, which usually she likes these two. And uh, that's going to be for dinner. So here's what we've got for dinner tonight. I made some lasagna soup. I've never made this before. I didn't put any ricotta. I don't particularly like ricotta. So I just did um, ground beef, spinach, a little bit of diced green bell peppers, the lasagna noodles broken up, a can of diced tomatoes with sweet onions, and a can of tomato puree, and then the rest is water in there. And so I just let it cook in the instant pot. I browned the meat first, and then cooked everything for four minutes, and then just left it, and it naturally released. And then this one I need to clean around the rim really, really badly. And I'm gonna scrub the range tonight because I cooked something earlier and made a giant mess, and <laughs> I didn't clean it yet. And these are the Trader Joe's Flat, I think they're Italian green beans, um, but I just made them the same way, Southern style, just they're the flat variety instead. And then over here for toppings, I've got mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese for the soup. I don't think anybody's really gonna eat the soup except me. So I made them chicken legs and I also have crescent rolls going in the oven actually right now. So I've got a whole thing of chicken legs. I'm gonna freeze some of these for easy lunches. I've got about, it says about seven minutes left. All right, the oven's totally not my favorite because when I open it up and any steam comes out, then the touch screen goes haywire, like trying to touch it, I'll hit the wrong button or something. So I had to actually reset the timer. I set it for eight minutes there. I, ha I actually set it for nine minutes. When I open it up, it does that. So I've got the crescent rolls in, see the steam makes you go haywire, I don't know. And then I spend like five minutes trying to hit resume <laughs> or canceling things. So it's not my favorite, but there, is what I've got there. You see my lovely socks. Um, so that's what's gonna be for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna wait for the crescent rolls to get ready and start scooping out the girls' stuff because they like their stuff cool, not burning hot. And everything right now is very hot. So here's what I've got. The rolls and the chicken have like two more minutes. So I've got Libby's scooped out here. I got Parmesan cheese. We'll give some to Stella as well. I'm just gonna leave it out. And there's my soup. I topped it with both cheeses and I scooped it out because it was so hot. And then I have a little bowl for Libby and I'll scoop some out for Johnny to try as well, just to see if they like it. I don't think either one of them will. It's mainly for my lunches the next couple of days. And then there is Stella's. Generally speaking, she will try things at least. So hopefully she'll like the noodles and the meat in there. And then I scooped out some green beans for her as well. And she does actually eat the onions and um, the bacon out of there as well. So I will get the girls chicken cooling. I will just stick it directly in the fridge or the freezer to cool it off a little bit faster because they will both eat the chicken drumsticks directly from the bone, which is awesome. I just have to kind of cut them a little bit to get them started cooling down. And there's the oven. And here's dinner on Sunday night. Put my roll right there. And um, Libby's already worked on her food. <laughs> Tonight for dinner, I made some Mexican rice. And then I just used the leftover green beans and chicken. We're using most of that up. There's one chicken leg for Johnny for the morning. Not for the morning. For lunch tomorrow. So the Mexican rice, I just added some tomato paste, some chicken bouillon. Um, just the better than bouillon chicken base, and then a little bit of corn and green bell peppers. And I have a lot of that left over for taco night tomorrow night. And then what else? Mine is just gonna be a taco bowl. I've got the rice on the bottom with chickpeas and black beans. And then we went on our date night and got a big giant bucket of salsa. So we're gonna have that with some chips and I will put the salsa in with my little taco bowl there. And that is gonna be dinner tonight. 
So this is actually a lunch idea for Livy. When I have tortillas and bananas, I make her some banana sushi and I keep calling it bacon sushi and we've been laughing about it. <laughs> I keep calling it bacon, but it's just a banana wrapped in a tortilla covered in peanut butter. I just have whatever peanut butter they had during <laughs> pandemic times. And then I put a little drizzle of honey inside of it as well and then just chop it up. The ends look kind of messy. She's already dug into it, but the insides look pretty cool, pretty much like sushi. And then she's got some veggies with some vegan ranch Hi. and some turkey. And yeah, she's been going to town as I've gotten the rest of her plate ready. Yeah. Tonight is Taco Tuesday. We're having all the taco things. So we've got some tortillas, some lettuce, oh, avocado, oh. and tomato. I made this with a little bit of the adobo sauce, barbacoa sauce. I had some in the freezer. We've got corn, chickpeas, sauteed, <laughs> sauteed green peppers and onions, black beans, and leftover rice from yesterday. Alrighty, it is Wednesday night and I am just heating up Taco Tuesday leftovers. The goal is to make our way through most of this. I'm going to have a taco bowl, I think, maybe one tortilla, and then I'm going to have lots of chips and salsa. We're finishing up some of the salsa, super duper spicy. That's from our date night. We got some for taking home. The only thing I'm actually doing, aside from putting everything in the microwave, is chopping up the last avocado, and that's it. So we've got a little bit of leftovers. I think Livy finished off all of the sauteed green peppers and onions, so we're just gonna not have those tonight because I'm not gonna make more. We're just trying to use it all up. So that's the leftover grilled chicken. I have been putting them in these containers, you can see. It said grilled chicken on it, and then it has been washed since then. I didn't relabel it. And the other one, I just put the shredded chicken in and then I seasoned it. So these are the ones I keep specifically for the freezer. I'll label them and I can just pull them out as needed and stick them in the fridge the night before. And then I'll have them ready like 24 hours later or so. So that's what's for dinner tonight. We're just heating up, getting things prepped. Got to chop this guy and uh, heat these two up. I didn't realize I had that much chicken, so we have quite a bit of chicken. I don't know that we're gonna make our way through all of the meat, and if not, then tomorrow for lunch, we will finish off the chicken. But other than that, we should be able to finish things off. I can get more cans of those open and make more corn tomorrow at lunchtime so we can finish that off. Just do like taco bowls or a quick nachos or something. I got Stella in my arms. She is a fussy bug, but we are having beef stroganoff. I made this in the instant pot. I kind of loosely followed Pressure Lux recipe. You can see she's she's not having it. I might be bouncing. She is just not having it tonight. So I kind of followed his recipe. I used um, I think beef stew meat is what I used. It was like cut in strips though. She's trying to touch. I've got the pasta going here and the beef stroganoff. I added one of the Borsin cheeses. This is the first time we are trying it, so hopefully it's good. I've tasted it and hopefully everyone else likes it. Sorry, we are having Meltdown City here. This is just not ideal, but I also put in some sour cream. I'm using these wide egg noodles for the noodles. I've got fish sticks in the toaster oven for the girls because I don't think they're gonna eat the cream-based anything. And there's the cheese I used. It's upside down, but garlic and fine herbs. She really wants the cheese here. You can take the box. Okay, I'm giving her the box. Hopefully she will chill out for a minute. And then I've got some steamed carrots for them. I'll just heat them in the microwave real quick. And they'll have the fish sticks, the carrots. They will both at least hopefully try the beef stroganoff. And then they will also eat the noodles. I know they'll both go crazy on the pasta. So theirs is set. I'm really excited about it. It looks and smells. And I tasted it just a tiny bit and it tastes great as well. I'm just waiting on noodles and Johnny and Liv are playing outside right now. So I'll call them in as soon as the noodles and fish sticks are done. The dinner noise was insane, so I'm sorry about the picture video, but I wanted to still show you guys dinner. I just bagged up all of the banana bread. So this was the loaf pan here. I'm gonna make Johnny some tea too, that's why that's out. So I bagged it up and it fit really, really nicely in this gallon storage bag. 
Oh, I like that. And then here's the onion chicken. I labeled it and it's going in the deep freeze along with this.